How are you today, ma'am? Hey, Dad. Oh. Hey, that's my room. What makes you think this is still your room? <laughs> you should have done that, Mr. Bowman. Here, Ted. There'll be no more need. You boys back on out of here now, you hear? Me and Maggie got a few things to talk about. Right, Sugar? You just put those down. Some things just need talking out. Ain't that what you said? How'd you get in here? I need you to come home, Maggie. Boy. You got one fantastic courting style. Bowman, you want me to come home? So you break into my room and you take all my clothes? Well, go on, take them. Take them! Maybe your next wife will wear the same size. Save you a bundle. You look mighty nice on you, Maggie. Okay. You want to get me home so you can get drunk and run out on me again? Leave me lonesome in that big old house? It don't have to be like that, Maggie. Why do you want me home? Tell me. You belong there. So do the ranch hands. Oh, come on, Maggie. Don't turn it around. You belong with me. Where do you belong, Ambler? activities stems from allegations made against Bowman by his wife, Maggie Bowman, in a divorce proceeding initiated by her in Bogan County earlier this year. When Mrs. Bowman's accusations were made public by a local radio announcer, the state attorney general announced his investigation. What's the matter, Maggie? Don't you want to hear the news? Guess I heard it. Yes, you have. They're talking about you all over Texas, sugar. Maggie Bowman. I was hurt, just trying to get back at you. I won't talk anymore. You don't have to worry about me. I won't say a word. I don't care what you say, Maggie. You think I care? What you gonna say, anyway? You brought a couple of city boys down to Bogan County? Just a couple of city boys chasing their tails, looking for trouble. Don't mean nothing to me. Yeah, we get back to the ranch. Let everybody see your home. I won't throw a party. I won't throw a couple of parties. We walk among the good folks. Let them see how proud you are to be home with your man. <laughs>
lawyers please and you making such a fuss I didn't have time to miss you sugar well I missed you even when I was mad at you I missed you you got no cause to be mad at me I don't know just because my man's off drunk coming home at five in the morning playing around on me who's mad you can't change a man's ways sugar no point in trying but I missed you I always missed you you always was the most beautiful girl in Bowling Gap. It's gonna be different now. A new start. Like before, remember? You'd come home right in the middle of the day, just so we'd have a little time alone. Yeah, I remember. I won't ever leave you again, Ambler. It's gonna be good between us. I won't ever leave you again. That's my good baby. I won't let you get away again, maybe. Got himself a fireball. Time for work. Ooh. Aki. Aki. Take your time. And how are you today? Baby of yours. Uh, she's a beauty. Y'all can just give it to me in cash. I need to get some things for the house. Oh, just a second, Miss Bowen. 10, 20, 30, 40. There you are. Let's see. Did you want to withdraw $100 or deposit $100? Withdraw. Because there ain't no money in this here account, huh? No money? Not a dime. Fourteen thirty-eight. Just charge it. Can't do it cash only. I don't understand. I've always charged. New policy, cash. 
Well, I don't have enough cash. Just put it on my account. Y'all come back real soon, yeah? Miss Bowman, Miss Bowman, please, I want to talk to you. What do you want? I, I just want to talk. Well, I have nothing to say to you. Well, don't you be so sure. I don't talk to reporters. Yeah, well, I'm not a reporter, but you did talk to reporters. Who are you? My name's Rand, Abraham, State Attorney General's office. Your divorce has caused quite a stir around here. From what I can tell, nobody stands up to Ambler Bowman. You either pull out or keep your mouth shut. Nobody leaves Ambler Bowman. Yeah, but you left him and came back. Why? Mr. Rand, it's hot out here, and the only thing that matters to me right now is a nice cold shower. Oh, well, that'd be difficult, wouldn't it be? I mean, with water being turned off every morning. I mean, the water don't come back on until noon. But you know that, Miss Bowman. It's turned off all over town, even the hydrants. $118,000 was appropriated in county funds last winter to renovate the water district. Now, how come you can't take a shower? Leave me alone. When you set out a scream that got that radio reporter down here, and, and the local paper's been printing your charge that your husband's been stealing the county blind, and I was sent down here to examine those charges. Now, you know you can't undo Ambler Bowman without specific charges. You can do him a great deal of damage, Miss Bowman. But I need a violation, something specific. Otherwise, I'm fighting him with pencil. I have nothing to say. But, but he runs this town, this county, these people. He tells them what to do, how to vote. He runs their lives. Does he run your life too, Miss Bowman? Huh? How does he do that? The way I see it, he can deliver a whole county. You know how to deliver a county, Miss Bowman? No, I do not. Well, neither do I, but I can guess. Intimidation, fear, bending the law his own way, scaring people. Help us, help us. Give me names, incidents, anything. I don't know what you're talking about. You seem to know when you were talking to that radio reporter. I was angry. I didn't know what I was saying. Yeah, well, that fellow, that, that reporter, he kept asking questions after you left. I don't care. Bowman had him arrested, threw him in jail. Leave me alone. Well, he's dead now. That reporter's dead. He hung himself in his cell. <laughs> got to talk to you. Can you believe this heat? When I was out riding, I thought I'd never get home. All I could think about was iced tea. I hope you like iced tea. Thank you, Judge. As a matter of fact, my daddy's over having a meeting now with Ambler. We were happy to hear you came home, Maggie. You know, you hurt Ambler real bad with the things you said. What about me? No one seems to care about how he hurt me. Even if that's true, nobody would know. Ambler likes to keep personal things between you and him. I guess he expected the same from you. Emily, I didn't come over here for you to tell me what my husband expects from me. Then why did you come over here? Because I thought you were my friend. Oh, Maggie, I'm sorry. I am truly sorry. Please stay. I am your friend. Oh, Emily. Sometimes I don't know if it's Amla or just me going to pieces. Things haven't been good between us. I know we've been playing around. 
Oh, and you can't listen to the talk in the town. It's a small place. I've tried to believe that. Even yesterday when I was driving back from Houston with him, I thought, maybe tonight, things will change. Tonight it'll be like it was. Maybe we could have a baby, and things would be different. Maybe that would be so good for you and Ambler. That's what he needs, honey, is a family, responsibilities. No. Too much has happened. I can't go back. I've learned at least that much. No, Maggie, that's not true. It takes time. Today I went into town. Pearson wouldn't let me charge at the grocery store. My account was closed at the bank. And I know it's because Ambler told him to do it. Well, that was just a carryover from the divorce proceedings, honey. They always cancel accounts and things. Maggie. Maggie, listen to me. Ambler loves you. You know what my daddy told me? He said that Ambler near went mad when you went away. There is no way he's going to hurt you. Why do I feel so scared, Emily? Why? the wash. Come and get it, boys. Nothing changes. How you doing, girls? Hey, sir. Come on. Come on out here. How you doing? You make yourself a good one. Woo! Get them back. Come on. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Yee-hoo! Get it, boys. Boss, Webb's inside. He's waiting for you. 
Guess what's for dinner, Matilda? You heard the man? Got it. Council Webb. Hey, boss, how's it going? Get a look at that deer? Not bad, huh? <laughs> We're gonna have a real good buck. Hey, boss. Hmm. We got to talk. Jerry, you should take up some hunting, you know? It ain't healthy to wear a necktie all the time. It stops the circulation to the brain, huh? <laughs> About that $18,000? We're supposed to take care of that. Well, I got to thinking about that. You know, you can't just set up a bogus loan to the fire department and predate it for October and expect to cover $18,000 missing from the school district. Why not? Why not? Well, you've done it before. Well, I never had the attorney general's office beating down my neck before. But we can do this. What we can do is we can cover it a different way. For instance, that lapsed premium on the school, well, you could falsify a check and uh, indicate payment. The insurance company is defunct. You make things so complicated, Jerry. Just fix it. Don't bother me with it. Like I said, make it out a loan to the fire department. Well, if they probe it, they're going to find no money. And you just can't get... Don't tell me I can't! Don't ever tell me I can't! Looking like a mama sow today. There ain't nothing I can't do in this county. And if them city boys want to probe, you let them probe. Because they got no record, then they got no guts. They got Maggie. What? What are you talking about? I saw her talking in front of the coffee shop with that Mr. Rand an hour ago. If she talks, she can hurt you. I'm very uneasy about her being here. Very uneasy. Huh. Well, she won't be here long. Houston. I knew she was here because I saw her in town talking to that district attorney. She was talking to Rand? Mm-hmm. Did he know? I sure told him. I don't like it either. Mm. I don't like it either. <laughs> Caleb's girl, Paul Grove, used to be the run of the litter, huh? Make your mama proud, huh? Sure do. I was just telling Mary Lou, it's important for a young girl to look out for her future. There's lots of things a girl her age is going to want out of life, huh? Pretty things, fur coats, and evening gown. Ain't that right, sugar? Now you come and see me about it real soon, huh, Mary Lou? There's always a job somewhere for a pretty girl. You come around, huh? we'll talk about it. Huh? <laughs> Why'd you want me back here? To mock me and make a fool of me? That is exactly why I want you here, Maggie. 
Will you show the good folks how proud you are to be home with your man? You let them see how beholden you are. If you've got anything to say, you keep it bottled up. Because you made a fool out of me. I'm going to do what I want with you now. I wouldn't try to run away again if I were you, because if you do, you're as good as dead. You show the good folks some kindness. They're a real good time. You are drunk as a skunk. Lord, you are my witness. <laughs> hey, boys, what do you mean up here? This boy is crazy. Judge, Judge, I'm going to tell you that you never tell a confidence. That's a priest, you turkey. Well, he marries people, too. I'm going to have Maggie Bowman tonight. <laughs> you better get some black coffee into this boy. Yes, sir. Hey, Roy! <laughs> hey, everybody, look. Look, everybody. Hey, look who's here. Huh? Look who done come home. My little Maggie, huh? <laughs> hey, Wilbur, how are you, boy? How's it going, Ernest? Go, Harris, everything. Honey, how's it going, huh? Sue Ellen, how's that new baby of yours? There you look at here, huh? You cute little thing you are. <laughs> Will. How's that tooth of yours, boy? Well, I'm very all right. You know, here, I'm going to give you $10. I want you to get that tooth pulled out of your head. Tell Doc Crater I see it, huh? Now, here, I want you to spend that $10 on that tooth. I'm going to come looking for you, and I want to find a hole in your mouth. You understand, huh? <laughs> come on, Maggie, huh? Sure did run to size, boss. Oh, that's nothing. That's just a little one. I'd like to run into something like that. Woo! Sure would. <laughs> you don't mean nothing. He's drunk. Something don't belong to you. Something real pretty. Hey, it's done. Come on, come and get it. Hi, Maggie. Come on in.
It's not done. It's just not done. You can't ask me to do this. It's not legal. I ain't asking. I'm telling you what's done in this county. You're only the judge, Henry. Only the judge. Did you believe there's a road free and clear? It's a long way home from here. Do it. Get on the phone. She must be out of the county by now, out of my jurisdiction, if you bring in the state. They owe me favors all over this state. I don't care how you do it. Just get on the phone and do it. It's a long way home from here. Ma'am, you're gonna have to get out of the car. You're under arrest. I'll take you back to Bogan County. Sure you're feeling okay? Yeah. You wouldn't mind loosening these handcuffs, would you? Well, there's no way to loosen them. Just have to take them off the only way. Kind of what I had in mind. Yeah, well. I would have up to me, but, uh, isn't it? Well, no. We got rules. There's nobody else around that I can say. Well, you're right there, it's... But I can't do it. Oh, I forgot. Amla Bowman gets his way. Too much. Betty says I'm sent here in the future, too. That doesn't say much. He already said that. Yeah, I guess it does. Well, what else does it say? Well, he says I was supposed to get you back to Bowdoin County, but uh... Hey, I'm your Texas Ranger. I never met a Texas Ranger. Yeah, but I couldn't sing. That's why I'm a Texas Ranger. I wanted to be a country singer. I never could keep the tune. You play an instrument? Well, you can't 
call it that, I don't think. I just started playing last week. I thought it was better late than ever. Angel? No, not me. <laughs> Guitar. Oh. Are you teaching yourself? Yeah, you might call it that. I bet you play good. No, I don't. I don't play good at all. I sound like a dog cutting a barbed wire fence. <laughs> you got it with you? Uh, yeah, it's back there. Hmm? Yeah, it's in the back. I would have played piano, but you know, <laughs> can't carry a piano around. Well, <laughs> maybe you can uh, play me a tune before they pass it, Tony. Yeah, I'll, I'll play you a tune. When you get back there, I'll play you a tune, I promise you. Emma Bowman would hang me if you thought he could get away with it. Who knows, maybe he can. Well, it's hard, but pretty, isn't it? Up the stairs on the left. How you doing? Thank you, sir. I don't like doing this, Miss Bowman. It's against my nature. Come on, get up. I can stand up by myself. Get I... up on your feet there now. Refusing to surrender property is ordered. Striking a receiver appointed by this court in the face? Please. I don't know what you're talking about. He brought me back here from Houston. I've asked you to rule on the divorce and you won't. And until you rule on the divorce, I'm his property. You only rule on what my husband wants and what he wants is to destroy me and you're helping him do it. It is you who have brought auditors and lawyers down here looking us over with your reckless, irresponsible accusations. Now, I warn you to desist. 
You were ordered to remain in Bogan County until these matters were cleared up. You have refused twice. Your word is worth nothing, Miss Bowman. You are in contempt of my court. Your court? You can't even cross the street or go to the bathroom without Amler Bowman telling you to. Bailey, I want you to take this lady and put her in jail. Come on, let's go. Something bothering you, boy? Don't tell me how to find a hotel. You know, I could have sworn you uh, had something to ask me. Well, as a matter of fact, I was. How can he lock up like that and get away with it? That don't concern you. You rangers come into the county because the county asks you to. You don't question the law. You're a messenger, delivery boy. That's all. Where'd you say that hotel was? On your way back out of town. You might like a cup. Well, that depends on who's giving it away. A. Brand, State Attorney General's office. Yeah. Jack Kern, Texas Ranger. Yeah. You just brought the Bowman woman in. I, I'd like to talk to you about it. Well, sure. Can you sit down over here? Sugar? No, thank you. You know much about Bowman? Oh, not much. Well, he runs this county. But as far as I can tell, he spends the county money on everything but the county. But I can't prove it yet. I was sent down here on an investigation to audit the records. Only problem is, there are no records. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Old courthouse caught fire. Seems the records just went up in flames. How does he get away with that? Well, now, I was thinking that Maybe Maggie Bowman might have told you that. Oh. And you drove with her for 300 miles? Nothing. Damn. That's the only witness I got against him. Now they let him get a court order to put her out of circulation. Population here is dirt poor, you know. He buys their loyalty. Runs the whole county. That's paternalism, not government. He's got a little dictatorship right here in the middle of Texas. Well, what's he going to do with you? Leave her there in jail? Well, I guess he could stack up enough charges to keep her in jail for a while. Or? Your guess is as good as mine. Listen, if you happen to remember anything about what she might have said, well, I'm right over there in that little abandoned store. Huh? All right. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. Thank you. 
I'll do that same for you. Call this you ask for. I wrote it, I just hope I can remember it. And I hope it stays in key. I like it here, I like it here, not a soul for miles around, the mountain air so clear, moon's throwing shadows, I ought to get moving, but long, I like it here, I like it here, high country low country forest and trees, my country no country feels more like home to me. Get him out of here. You get him. Keep your head down. You get down on the landing. When it comes to backbone. Yeah, let him try to come here one day. Throw my rig in gear. Try to remember. He's playing a guitar. But long. I like it here. I like it here. I like it here. It's a good thing I got a captive audience. Henry. Henry. 
I'm involved, Gary. But why jail? You know damn well why. Because Ambler Bowman told me to. I've always done what he wanted me to do. I got her sent back here. I put her in that cell. It's out of control. There's a state ranger sitting guard over her right now. It's out of control. What are oh. you... Okay. What are you doing here? Don't tell me playing the guitar. No, I'll... I'll take a couple of days off. I didn't want to go back to Houston right now. Yeah, this is, uh, really some vacation spot. <laughs> Well, the truth is, I want to see you walk out of here. You know what you're in for? Not what you think. He's too smart for that. He'll get you sent to the border beating the brush for illegal aliens in 100 degree heat. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Trying to scare me off? No. I have a dumb question to ask you, though. How'd you get in this mess? You know what it's like growing up in a place like this? You spend your whole life dreaming of running away. My folks work for Amler. And he noticed me. Any other boy even kissed me and my daddy hit the roof. But Amler, they handed me over to him. He was my ticket out. He took me to my first dinner in a restaurant. I was in love. You know, that man can dance. Ain't that a killer? That man can dance up a storm. Go on. I married him. It was good for a while. But it's true what they say about him. He's mean, and he's corrupt. I tried to leave him. Nobody leaves Emma Bowman. I'm scared. Well, and how are you today? Just look at you, Maggie. The prettiest girl in Bogan County in jail. Ain't that a shame? You could change all that. If I wanted to, Maggie. If I wanted to. Well, you tell me, what is it? You always want something. You brought me back here, you must want something. Nothing. I want nothing from you. <laughs> Did you ever see such a mess as you're in? Then why? Why'd you bring me back here? It's a game to you, isn't it? Well, Amler, I can't fight anymore. <laughs> well, the way I figure it, you already lost. What are you going to do? Well, Maggie, you defied the court. Leaving like that. Lord knows what else you've done. Years. A person could spend years in jail and still owe the court. That don't mean nothing to me, but the law has to be paid. You always was full of sass, Maggie. Oh, please. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Boys can relax.
I'm a friend of Maggie Bowman. I heard her crying. What's going on? Oh, she'll be all right, huh? We, we'll take care of her. I'm Emily Martin, Judge Henry Martin's daughter. I need to find out what's going on. Why don't you ask your daddy? Please tell me why she's here in jail. Well, the Bowman wants her out of circulation. It's what they call a trumped-up child. Who gave the order? Was it my father? Yes, ma'am. Bowman just left the jail. He's got to scare to death. He means business. They're going to leave her in there. He can't leave her there forever. He's got to make a move. Yeah, so I'm afraid of him. I ran into Judge Martin's daughter. She's asking about Maggie. Why? Well, I don't know. Said she'd friend her. Maggie don't have any friends in this town. Yeah. Do me a favor, will you? Call Houston, tell him I'll take a couple days off. I got a couple days coming. Where are you going? I'm going back to jail. You want to do me a favor? Get me a couple of cheeseburgers and relish, mustard, send them up. Answer me. I want to talk with you. I'm listening. Would you look at me? You're just like your mother, you know that? All right, Emily, what is it? Why'd you do it? Why'd you put Maggie Bowman in jail? Emily, I've had a hard day. I don't want to argue. Maggie's right. Ambler Bowman does own you. Ambler Bowman owns this county. Don't you know that, Manon? Why is she in jail? Why? Doesn't make any difference why she's in jail. It's too late, girl. It's out of my control. You don't have to do his dirty work. I was given the order. You took the order. What's the difference? Emily, when you're my age, maybe you'll understand that sometimes you have no choice. You do what you're told. When you've run out of courage. Girl, the state's moving in. Bowman gets sent to prison, so do I. Now, what would you have me do? Daddy, you could say no to Bowman. Let her out of jail. Can't do that. He'd kill me. 
If you don't, there's going to be another suicide in your jail. He'll kill her. You know he will. You have a choice. Oh, honey. I do wish life was so simple. What is it? Judge Martin let Maggie out of jail. What? Yes, sir. What? On a writ. When? Six o'clock this morning. Nothing I can do about it. Get your brains out of town on a Greyhound bus, Henry. Now, now, who's your undertaker on this? You settled on one yet? Because I want you to know I ain't backing you on this. Not one bit. Henry, you listening to me? It's your funeral, Henry. Henry, you listen to me? I'm just calling you. Where is she? She's back here. Huh. Who ordered the release? Court order, here. What, Martin signed this? Yeah, hand delivered. You wait for me at the storefront. Hey, Chef. You put him up to this? First I heard about this was your phone call. Where's Henry? Hell, I don't know. He just walked out of here. Take it easy. Oh, man, it's crazy. He's got to be out of his mind. Look there. Henry! Henry Martin! Uh-oh. He's livid. He keeps hollering for the judge. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. You got ready, Maggie? What's the use? You gotta get away from here for a while. He'll find me. He always finds me. He won't find you. Miss Bowman, I was just there. I'm a witness. He shot a window out. He tried to kill Martin. Now, I can have him up on charges in the morning, but 
Well, you'll have to go. We can't make him stick. I can't, but you can. I mean, if your testimony isn't enough, there's my testimony. Well, you can, you can put him in jail for good. Look, just leave me alone. You don't have to testify if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. But you gotta get away from here for a while. You gotta be able to think, come on. You'll be safe, I promise you, come on. Dragging you into this mess. That's my job, Mandy. They certainly train you boys real good. Well, it's not just my job. you out and then I'm going back and deal with that man Now, why would you have a shotgun with you in the courtroom? I have a permit for all of my guns. Well, these gentlemen believe you're going to try and kill them. Well, that's a natural conclusion, seeing as I made a threat against Henry. But they're wrong. I was never going to shoot anybody. You didn't come down here and say you were going to kill Henry Martin. Well, that uh, may be considered a threat up in Austin, but not down here. Down here, when we call a man out and tell him we want to kill him, we just call that a figure of speech. You did have a gun. I wasn't going to shoot anybody. Not Judge Martin? Not your wife? 
Now you talk about... I'm just all broke up about that. I sure wish I knew where she was so I could say I'm sorry about all this fuss. Now, you didn't try and kill her and this ranger here by forcing them off the road? Uh, those kind of things don't happen down here, not us folks. It's just a peaceful little county. Well, I don't want you leaving this little county, Mr. Bowman. I want you available and accessible for further questions if needed. Mr. Webb, I will accept your assurances. Yes, sir. Mr. Bowman, you understand there will be further questions. On your way out of town, uh, stop by the coffee shop. Best chili in the county. Tell them to put it on my tab. How about you go and get yourself all excited, Jerry, over nothing? Hmm? I want him on attempted murder, Reese. I want to swear out a complaint. You can't have it. You can't make it stick. He was a homicidal maniac. He, he threatened to kill Martin. He went after Jack. But did he see him? He can't identify Bowman. He didn't see Bowman. Anybody could have been up there in that helicopter. I'll build a case. On what? On witnesses. Maggie Bowman. Maggie Bowman won't talk. Hell, man, you can't even find anyone who'll admit he was here. Wait a minute. You're going to leave it just like this, huh? Well, what about them? What about them people out there? Did you look at them on the way in? Did you notice the stare they gave you? Well, they were looking at you as if you were a creature from another planet. We are creatures from another planet. They live on $35 a week, whatever Bowman hands them. They vote the way he says. They do what he says. He runs this county like a feudal kingdom. And they think that's the way it's done out there. That is not my problem. Oh, you're nothing but an opportunist. And you're a dedicated prosecutor. You want to haul Ambler Bowman into court, you bring me facts, not emotions. Yeah, well, you bring me five deputies. Or I'll tell every paper in Texas that I need help and I can't get it. You can have four deputies. And you can issue them warrants for the right of search and seizure. And that's it. What was the name of that restaurant? Oh. The little coffee shop on the edge of town. Why don't you try the chili? Burn your guts out if you have any. Yeah? Is Jack there? No. Can I help you? Oh. Please have Jack call me at the motel. Have him call 555-9876. He'll know. Who's calling? Uh, never mind who's calling. Just give him the message, okay? Thank you. Yeah, she's at the Stardust Motel, boss. That's my sweet Maggie. She always was impatient. Three more deputies. Well, what am I going to do? 
Well, you're gonna have to tell him everything you know. Otherwise, he ain't gonna get a conviction. I can't help Rand. Don't you see? He's out. I... Look, uh, I'll call you back. No, Maggie, this phone might be bugged. Let me call you back. I'll call you back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone called for you, a lady. She left this number. Damn. I better get out there. Operator, can you get me the bus depot, please? Bus depot? Yes, uh, can you tell me when the next bus is coming through town? Went through about two hours ago. Won't be one now till tomorrow. Nothing before tomorrow? No, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'd like to make a call to Bogan County. The number is 555-2224. Is that long distance? Yes, ma'am. Okay, would you make it person to person to Emily Martin? Emily Martin. Thank you. Okay, operator, would you please keep trying that for me, please? It's an emergency. Sure thing. Thank you. I warned you, Maggie. I warned you. Nobody runs away. Nobody runs away! I'm getting sick and tired of this! Sick and tired of you! And this whole thing! You understand me? Nobody leaves me! Go on. Pull it. Do the state a favor. Nothing the matter with the man and the wife being in the same motel room together now. Mm -hmm. Now, what the hell are you doing here, boy? You're the state. You know, cause that you be hanging around here making trouble, messing where you don't belong. You got no rights here, boy. I'm here. I'm Miss County. I'm the power. Ain't nobody gonna take that away. Get out of my way. Maggie? Emily, you should have killed me when you had the chance. Because I'm going to tell that attorney general everything I know. Don't mean nothing to me.
some of the funds were funneled through phony loans. There's a, a bogus loan to the fire department uh, covering the 18,000 missing from the school district that he used to build a dog track on his property. You might not have seen it because it's way down near the county line. Were you occasionally asked to hand down predetermined judgments? Not occasionally, sir. I was required to clear all of my court decisions with Amler Bowman. We were told to bill the county for food for the schools. The bill was for steak, but we got macaroni or spaghetti, that sort of stuff. And the, uh, the extra funds? I assume they went to Mr. Bowman or his man. Well, yeah, I did. Uh, there's a few things. What sort of thing? Well, it's nothing much, really. Sheriff Mason, why did you receive these uh, nothing much gifts? Well, he'd uh, scratch my back and, and I'd scratch his. There's uh, nothing wrong with that. Scratch, Mr. Mason? How exactly did Amber Bowman repay your loyalty? Tractors, mostly. He got me a few of them from my farm. Could you explain a little further? I was only auditor for about a year and couldn't keep the books straight. <clears throat> He'd tell me to put people on the payroll, and so I put them on. And, well, most of them were dead already. So we'd just collect checks and give them to Boss Bowman. Well, that's it. Tax collector, county auditor, school board, judge, water board, county commissioner, sheriff. It's incredible. Get a cup of coffee, I'll be right back. Yeah. We have all the evidence we need, Bowman. Martin's in protective custody. So is Jerry Webb. Attorney General wants to hear the statements before issuing any indictments against you. I'm going to be playing him them tapes tomorrow morning. So I'd advise you to consult your attorney. Oh, sorry. We got him, too. <laughs> Just going to have to get yourself another attorney. You're going to jail. Don't mean nothing to me. I can run this county from any jail. Well, it's over, man. Is it? What do you mean? I'm just not sure it's over, that's all. He doesn't give up. Well, I think he has any choice now. There's no telling what he's going to do now. You never know what he's thinking. He doesn't feel about things like most people do. He really doesn't care about anybody. I don't think he's going to try anything right now. You're a nice man, Jack Kurt. You have to go back soon? Yeah, I got to get back pretty soon. Mm. You going back to Houston? I'm not sure. I thought you might want to ride. No handcuffs? No, no handcuffs. I can't, not yet. Why not? Well, I just think I better stick around with the herons and all. Just got an uneasy feeling. Well, I think all the evidence against him, I just... I don't see why I'd try anything. You don't know him.
men nowadays without the Bible. They leave it to the Salvation Army. And the Salvationists say, come on, sing away, be happy. Sing now. But how are you going to sing when a good man is dead? And the country is overrun with liberals and traitors. Lord, Ambler Bowman was a good man. And in his memory, I offer this prayer. The Lord is my shepherd. He maketh me to lie down in green town. He leadeth me. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Yea, though I walk through the path of the Lord. If you come my way, I can promise. 